anyone goes for asking speed in a particular problem when a force is acting, you should be applying the work energy theorem which says work done by a given force is equal to change in kinetic energy of the system. And here it is to be noted that if this disc, center of the disc or a hollow cylinder at, as it is here, if this hollow cylinder was to move with some speed v, then this point is supposed to move with 2v. To bring this point on top of the hollow cylinder, if this has moved by x, this point moves by 2x, so to bring it here, if this moves by L by 3, this would move by 2L by 3. So relatively, to bring this point over here, I have to have a relative shift of L by 3. Now, relative shift of L by 3 can only be brought about if the rod is actually pulled by 2L by 3. It's like the ground moves by L by 3 and the body on it moves by 2L by 3. So the relative motion would have been L by 3. The question expects us to bring this point onto this point. This gap though was L by 3, had this been at rest, you had to shift only by L by 3. But since the hollow cylinder is also moving, so you have to shift this point by 2L by 3. Shift of this by L by 3 ensures the net shift is only L by 3 relative to the hollow cylinder. Therefore, once we apply work energy theorem, we write F into 2L by 3 because the definition of work is force into displacement of point of application of force, not merely displacement. So this point had also moved by 2L by 3. So force into 2L by 3 is equal to change in kinetic energy of the rod plus kinetic energy of the cylinders which happens to be translational and rotational I have taken twice because I had two hollow cylinders.